Hi, everybody. It's Tyler here at Vex Rules, checking in 2072A Aries coming in out of Virginia. A signature event win. Also, uh, we're division winners uh, at Sugar Rush as well, too, and Gateway of the West. You were the winners. And then also Virginia State Champions. So an awesome season so far that you've had as you go through on this. Uh, this robot overall, just really well built. We're going to be talking about a lot of the different build quality aspects of it. you got to check out their brain screen and what they're doing for that. And also the controller doing some alignment utilizing the controller as well too. So a lot of cool stuff to jump into. And let's learn more about them coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grill Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Cody, let's dive into this robot here. Talk to me more about some of the just general build philosophy and build quality that's gone in this robot. And then I noticed on here, uh, you're rocking a tongue neck on that too. Just talk to me more about uh, what that tongue is essentially. Sure, so our robot, uh, 450 RPM drivetrain. We have a uh, our first stage intake coming up. And one thing that we do a little bit different is our flex wheels at the top of the robot. They are free spinning. Uh, it helps a little bit more with friction. We noticed that when they were mounted with the axle, it was a little bit harder to turn. Um, one thing that we did, we built a tongue, and that allows us to get the rings out of the corner. So looking at coming in the Vex rolls here, were these added on? Uh, was that tongue added on for Vex rolls, or did you have that like at Virginia State Champs? We added it on to Vex rolls, yes. Very cool. So. A lot of great stuff to cover on this robot here. Let's pass over to Austin. Uh, who's going to talk more about your uh, Lady Brown back on it. And we were talking earlier, a little bit different than some of the other Lady Browns. And they're just talking about what the difference is on this. Yeah, so our Lady Brown's a little different than other teams just by how the ring sits and how the ring stays in it. So if we reset it here. So when the ring comes in, it kind of sits at this angle. And this angle allows us to get a little more reach while still getting the 360 and being in size. And another problem we had is the hook, as you can see, is kind of hooked onto it. So Zach programmed it so when we lift it up, the intake spins backwards some. And the ring is still sitting at this slight angle. So then when we go to score it, it comes out very nice. We have this cut flex wheel right here, and that keeps the ring in. So that allows us to go up and score on other goals when people have it in their clamp. It also helps for auto to score on the Alliance stake. We use a little bit of foam in here just to keep the ring from being able to go back and forth, but mainly it's these two plastic pieces and the flex wheel that hold the ring in. Looking at match strategy overall, uh, coming from your events uh, for Virginia State Champs, for St. Jersey been in, in the Worlds, has the wall stake scoring strategy really changed at all for you here so far at Vexworlds? This is definitely our best Lady Brown we've had all season. This is probably our third or fourth iteration and every time it's gotten better. Our first one wasn't able to go 360, so we kind of had to stop somewhere at like this angle or else we were out of size. And that kind of prohibited us from knocking over goals and unflipping goals. So we definitely, going into states, we wanted a 360. But our states lady round was then a little short, so it didn't score very well. So that's where for Worlds, we added this like weird how it sits and allows us to score smooth. Give you a little bit extra reach on that. Yeah, just a sure. little bit and a little bit matters. Oh, very cool. Adam, we got to talk about this uh, brain screen we talked about earlier as well too. So just talk to me about uh, what you're utilizing and just kind of how you're getting that feedback on there. Yeah, so all of our programming is done with Pros and Pros comes with something called LVGL, which allows for this dynamic uh, UI you see here, where this is actually a scroll bar and you can see a list of different autos. Uh, we have some switches here, so you can switch between red and blue. Uh, if I can actually click the screen. Okay, yeah. You can switch between red and blue and positive and negative. And for the each auto you select in the code, we can actually select what it does. So the drive team never gets confused on what an auto actually does, because you can see everything it scores here. Um, this this brain screen, uh, the core of it was, was built by 21S, and we collaborated with them to get this on the robot here. Oh, that's really cool. And from other programming aspects on your robot, anything else you want to highlight or feature? Yeah, so for movement, we're using an inertial sensor with easy template for PID, which basically allows us to have very accurate movements. Um, yeah. Is there anything from uh, like uh, when you're looking at potential drift or anything like that that you're utilizing to compensate for that in your autos? Um, we haven't had a lot of problems with, with drift. Um, 
we're, we're just using the inertial sensor and the motor, the integrated motor encoders to um, accurately move the robot. Sure. Uh, we haven't had a lot of problem with the uh, all Omni drive. It hasn't really drifted that much. That's what I was going to ask. With yeah. the Omni wheels, you know, you potentially have a little more of that, but I'm glad to hear it hasn't really impacted your team uh, that much on there for sure. So, uh, Zach, let's wrap up on here. Um, one of the things we were talking earlier too on this uh, controller here, you're actually utilizing feedback to do lineup on that. Talk a little bit more like what you're actually doing from that route. Yeah, so the advantage of using this controller for feedback is that we were able to constantly print the, the angle that the brain, that the IMU is reading. And so at any point, we know exactly, we can start it at any point and we can line it up to exactly the precise degree that we're trying to get. So for example, in our autos, we need it at exactly a 27 degree angle. We found that's most consistent and works the best. And so at a 27 degree angle, we can line it up every single time. So right now it's 71, we just need to turn it slowly until we're right around 27, and then we can select the auto that we need. And this has allowed us to have much more consistent autos because we were, we were having some problems middle, in the middle of the year before we switched to this, but after this, we've had much more consistent match autos. They've been, we've allowed them to have faster autos and score more points. Do you have to essentially reset that every time you get on the field, or is it just kind of set for each time? Yeah, so each time when we open up the program, we line it up with the field tile, and then we, we just open the program, It'll calibrate for a few seconds, and then, as you can see here, it'll print it out. So we simply turn it to that 27 or negative 27 degrees, and we run from there. Totally makes sense to that, Aries. Uh, looking really good here so far at Bex Rolls. We can't wait to see your future performance as you go through. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks for telling us more about your team, and we can't wait to see how you do. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.